Hey guys, Jessica here. And in this video today, I decided to come on live today to talk to you a little bit about nutrition, canine nutrition specifically, but um, if you have cats, this applies to them too. talk a little bit about canine nutrition and why as a dog trainer I care about what your dog eats just as much as I care about what my dog eats so before we get started um, I my name is Jessica and I am a force free dog trainer if you don't know me um, you can find me at the furry family coach and I am a force free dog trainer which means I use positive reinforcement to mold and shape behaviors in your dog um, and I teach people how to maintain a positive environment for their dog and positive uh, using using positive reinforcement to me, my goal is to make sure that dogs who are in loving homes stay in their loving homes forever. To make sure that dogs are um, happy and healthy and loved for the rest of their lives and don't wind up at shelters because, um, you know, somebody had a baby or, um, you know, they have some bad behavior going on and the, and the owner just can't figure out how to uh, live with it. So that's my goal, is to make sure that dogs stay in their loving homes for their whole lives. Um, so that's why I became a dog trainer, because I don't, I, I see so many dogs winding up in shelters for reasons that, you know, it's not the dog's fault. And we can, could it could have been prevented. They could have stayed in their home um, and stayed with their family throughout their entire lives. So that's what I do. And um, I recently came out with an ebook. I'm so excited about it because I lay out the entire foundation, um, everything I teach all of my in-home clients, uh, a how to create an environment and positively train your dog. And you can find that at bit.ly slash seven steps dog training. And I can't really type in while I'm doing the live video. So if somebody could type that in for me, I would really, really appreciate it. bit.ly slash seven steps dog training because it's seven miracle steps teaching you how to train your dog. Um, really, really, I'm super excited about this. I want everybody to have a copy. So please go bit.ly slash seven steps dog training. Um, and with that, I am going to go ahead and talk about what we came here to talk about. So, um, throughout my entire life, um, every dog trainer I've ever come in contact with, every person who has had contact with a dog trainer, I will say the number one thing outside of, you know, using positive methods, because we did a video the other day about using old outdated um, dominance or pack theory methods. And outside of that, because people are coming around and that the field is changing. We now know that force-free positive reinforcement methods are the, the best way to train dogs. So outside of that, the number one thing that I have, uh, I know most dog trainers completely overlook, 100% overlook. If you go and talk to a dog trainer right now, chances are they're not going to discuss your dog's nutrition. And that's a problem. Um, that's a huge problem for a number of reasons, because what we put into our body matters. So guess what? What we put into our dog's body, what we put into our cat's body, that matters too. Um, I equate kibble, and I'm not the only one. Um, there is a ton of research coming out on um, how bad kibble is for our pets. Um, I equate it to eating at McDonald's every day or eating at Burger King every day. Eating highly processed fast food items every day. Um, you know, just go to the Little Debbie factory and eat that for the rest of your life. That's pretty much what kibble is. I mean, not exactly, but pretty darn close, okay? So kibble is a very highly processed food. It lacks in a lot of nutrients, especially essential fatty acids, because oils go rancid. 
So your feed oils and fats, um, fats go rancid. So you're feeding your pet a highly processed, pro highly, highly processed, high heat processed um, diet with, thank you. Oh, what have we got? Sorry guys, this is live. Thank you, I appreciate it, baby. Okay, I know. Let me check and make sure we're all good. Yes, we're all good. Thanks, babe. Okay, come on, get back in bed. Yeah, good girl. Okay, she's letting me know there's something going on. So, with rancid fats. So, rancid fats are worse than no fats at all. Um, you really want good fats, um, but rancid fats are terrible for your system. But I digress. So kibble is the equivalent, it's a highly processed food. So it's the equivalent of eating, you know, a McDonald's, let's say, all three meals a day, every day of your life. So what happens to your body when you eat highly processed foods? every meal, every day. You're not getting good healthy fats, you're only getting rancid fats. You're getting um, foods that are uh, high heat processed. Just imagine eating a McDonald's three meals a day, every day, that's all you get. Your body is going to feel like terrible because I don't know if I can cuss on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> so your body is going to feel absolutely terrible. And you know what happens pretty quickly? I, I was going to say over time, but pretty quickly, your brain function is, it, it, it's, you're depriving your body of nutrients. Your brain function slows. Your brain starts to deteriorate. The connections between the neurons in your brain start to slow down and deteriorate. So guess what? This is the exact same thing that's happening in your dog and your cat. And, I, and I'm, I'm just saying cats here because, because even though I am not a cat trainer per se, um, I do have a lot of behavioral knowledge in cats. So I do work with cats sometimes. But more importantly, there are actually more cats in homes in the United States than dogs. I mean, not by too much, but there are. So I know that if, if you have a dog in your home, chances are you have a cat in your home too. So you, I want you to understand and equate this to every living being in your home. You, your spouse, your um, children, all of your pets, no matter what kind of pet you have. Um, we all need healthy, fresh species appropriate, biologically appropriate foods for our bodies and our minds to work properly. So um, a lot, uh, and, and there's actually some new research that has been coming out recently um, about how these deficiencies that we have, and specifically I was talking about kibble having a lot of rancid fats in it because oils and fats go bad quickly and they're you know exposed to air when you put them in these bags and you know they're not properly um, stored and sealed and so when you have these rancid oils and fats you're not getting the nutrients that you're expecting to get especially with omega-3s and omega-6s so um not having these nutrients properly in your diet. And let's just specifically talk about dogs right now. We're, we're just talking about canines. You're going to see a lot of unnecessary aggression. You're going to see a lot of stress and um, your dog may have rapid behavior changes. They may be super happy and then super annoyed and then bark or lunge at another dog when you're going to feed them. So you're gonna see a lot of aggression issues. And this is new science, but I wholeheartedly support it and believe it because I've seen it. When you don't have the proper nutrition, specifically with these essential fatty acids. So we're feeding our dogs kibble they're not getting, even though the label may say that it has 
everything they need with all of the omega-3s, three, omega omega-6s, by the time your dog gets them, they're rancid. So not only are they not getting the benefits they should be getting from that nutrient, but they're actually going to be harming your dog because they're rancid. So that the, the um, molecular structure of that um, cell has actually changed. So it's actually more harmful to your pet. So what you're gonna be seeing is a lot of aggression issues, a lot of, um, uh, you know, spatial issues. They're not gonna be able to pay attention. They're not gonna be able to focus well because they're not getting the proper nutrients they need. So I care very much <laughs> about every animal. I'm very empathetic. I have been from as long as I can remember. Uh, you know, the one of my first memories is watching Dumbo and crying. Like I am in, an incredibly empathetic person to animals and I care very much about every animal that I know that I don't know that I come into contact with that I see on TV and my husband tells me all the time those are actor animals but to me it's still like it's it's bringing these emotions up in me so I care very much that's why I want to share this information and I want to get this information spread as far reaching as I possibly can because it's so important and it explains so much behavior in our animals because they're not getting the proper nutrition they're acting out in ways that they normally wouldn't so when we get proper nutrition in our animals we see drastic behavior changes sometimes um, depending on the animal it can be pretty drastic so if you're having any of these issues if you're feeding kibble first of all we want to look at switching your animal to a biologically appropriate diet for that species. For dogs and cats, that's a raw whole food diet. Um, my dog eats a raw diet and I supplement with different whole foods and she is thriving. She is incredibly bright. She responds at, you know, the drop of a dime and I know that's because her cognitive functions have not been impaired by improper nutrition. So that's what I came on to talk to you about today. Um, let me know what you're feeding your dog. I really want to know and I really want to help you transition your dog to a better diet. And I know a lot of people think that it's super expensive. It's not. If you look at um, what you're paying now for foods, especially those people who are feeding really high dollar kibble because they think it's better, you can probably save money by switching to a species specific raw diet, especially if you do it yourself. So there are commercial raw diets available, but I highly recommend everyone check out nutrition. Um, post in the comments, what are you feeding your pet? I really want to know what kind of issues are you having with your pet? Do you have any behavioral problems? Let me know. Maybe they um, snip at another dog in the household when you're trying to feed them. Maybe um, they're not paying attention. Maybe they don't listen. Maybe they have um, aggression towards you or someone else in the household. Maybe they have aggression towards other animals or, um, you know, uh, people, strangers coming in the house. Any type of issues, post them in the comments. And um, I talk about this a lot. In my new ebook, Seven Miracle Steps to Train Your Dog, um, if, and if you could type this in the comments because I'm not able to, um, I would really appreciate it. bit.ly forward slash seven steps dog training. Go and get your copy now. I talk about nutrition and it is so important. It, it really is one of the main things that dog trainers should be talking to every one of their clients about. It's one of the things that they are not talking to their clients about because they don't know about it. So let's get this information out there. Um, and also this whole live series is for you. It's for you and your dog because I care.
And I want to make sure you and your dog, you and your dog are a team. So I want to make sure you're living happy, harmonized lives together. Um, so if you have any questions, if you have any um, comments, please post them below. Maybe you're having potty training issues. Maybe you're having some aggression issues. Maybe you're having um, any kind of issue you may be having with your dog. Interaction between dogs, interaction between dogs and cats. Let me know in the comments. I would be happy to make a video and answer your question. Uh, one more time, bit.ly slash seven steps dog training. Grab my ebook, Seven Miracle Steps to Train Your Dog. And um, with that, I, if, again, if you have any questions about nutrition, which is what this video was about, please leave a message in the comments. I would be happy to help you out. Um, if you haven't joined the Train Positive group, please do so. It's on Facebook, um, Dog Training 201 Train Positive. And I, am, yeah, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up um, and share it with your friends. If you think that anybody that has a pet, this is important stuff, guys. So share it with anybody that you know that has a pet. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.